Welcome back to my channel. I know it's been so long since I put a video up but I'm here with an easy everyday look with a nice pop of red on my lips. Now let's get started. So I mixed my foundation. I actually didn't show the one that I use mixed with the Lancome one. I use the MAC Studio Fix in the shade NC50 and I just mix it with my Lancome Tint Edo because I'm currently a little tan from holiday. Um, so I'm just going to buff this in to the areas that I need it the most, especially around my mouth area, which is a bit darker. So I like using a brush compared to a sponge because I feel like it does the job very quickly and it's more sanitary and doesn't suck up too much of my foundation. And now for my concealer, I'm using my Tarte, um, what's it called? I forgot. I'll write everything in the description box down below. I love this concealer because it's a smidge, just a bit orange and so it conceals my circles under the eyes I let that sit for a bit as I do my eyebrows off camera and we're back so I put this all over the places I need to correct and I just use it also to do up my face a little I like the dewy finish because I'm able to really put on the um, powder after and then I'm not too dry it also um, gives such good coverage on top of any foundation that you have already and now I'm just going to use this uh, L'Oreal concealer just to brighten up the under eyes and the center places of my face that I want to highlight. I know it looks really light and um, compared to my skin tone but I really like this because it's very dewy, it's lightweight, I think it's like a sheer to medium coverage so that's why when I blend it out it just disappears but still gives you that nice lifted natural look because it's an everyday look so you don't need to be super highlighted but you need to take off the flatness from the face that's caused by the foundation and i'm just gonna buff this in with my foundation brush i really love this brush it's by real techniques and i've had it for so long and this never failed me look at that dewiness so dewy i was even i was so happy to see the dewiness Moving on to the contour. So before I set my face, I like to just give my nose its shape back. Because I feel like with foundation, we tend to forget that it makes us look flat. We already have these dimensions naturally without makeup on. So I just take a powder that's um, also a foundation powder, but it's just maybe three to four shades darker. And so I just merge that with my the beginning of my brow so that it can really like... Uh, give me that nice shape of my nose and so I really take my time to do this with a smaller brush Just blend everything out so it doesn't look too harsh and I focus most of the product just at the top of my nose Then I take a, a powder brush and just blend that out so that it doesn't look too done So now I'm taking my Patrick Star powder, my translucent powder which I love, I've had this for so long And I really mise it, I think I need to buy another one And um just gonna set my under eyes, no baking for me because I'm super dry under my eyes. So I just put on the powder with a brush and just dust it off after. So I almost died from inhaling that powder. Be careful guys. I'm just gonna set the rest of my oily areas with this powder. It's really fine and um, it sits on the face well. Then I'll take my two powders that I use to set my face. I'm using both of them because I'm still quite tan and this is my Deep Dark Mineralized Skin Finish by MAC and my NC50 Studio Fix Powder. Just gonna mix the two and powder the rest of my face where I had on my foundation. Then I'm gonna take my contour powder, the same one I used on my nose. Um, this is the Maybelline, the old school Maybelline powders, which are in the pink casing, which are now discontinued in the shade Cacao. Just gonna sculpt my face a bit more. I know it looks heavy, but don't worry, it's gonna last. My face just sucks up so much powder these days. Then I'm gonna straight go straight into my highlight shade and just pop that into my eyes. Remember, we haven't done anything on the eyes, but I really like to do this because it makes my eyes look a bit more done and like... I don't know, I just feel like it really seals off the eye look that we're gonna do. And then I'll put the remaining product that's on the brush just on my brow area to give me that shape. Because we haven't done much to the eyes, that's still my real shape and still my real color on my eyelids. 
Then with my powder brush that we used before, I'm gonna take the excess powder that's on the powder brush to just, you know, mix everything together, cut that under uh, my cheek area nicely. Then I'm gonna go over my whole face because I was feeling a bit powdery with my contour powder, especially the edges of my face, just so that everything blends nicely. And now we're going to the strobe cream that I have here. I like using strobe cream on my bare eyes because it gives it the effect like you're wearing a shadow. It looks golden, so this is gold light. So I just put it slightly above my crease area just to blend it out nicely. It gives a really nice effect and uh, whatever is remaining on my finger, I also put that on my cheek area where I put my highlight. So I put on my lashes and a bit of eyeliner off camera. You can still see the strobe cream coming through. Looks really nice. But now I'm just gonna add some um, like lip balm. You can even use Vaseline on your eye area just to seal that strobe cream so that it doesn't start creasing. And um, this also just gives it more of like a, a high gloss shine. I also try to like not put it too close to my lash line, otherwise the eyeliner and the glue will come off. And now I'm just gonna go back into my palette and take this deep burgundy shade on my eyeshadow brush. Just gonna use this on my bottom lash line. I don't like using eyeliner because it, it's too heavy and it gets too dark. And this is a really nice way to swoop out the bottom lash line and make it nice and soft. Now we're just gonna go in with the lipstick. I was deciding here what to choose. Was it the lighter one or the deeper one? And I went for the deeper one. I really, really like this lipstick. It's by Lena Lashes in the shade Tom. The thing I like about this lipstick is that it's um, it has a blue base and with my undertone for my foundation and my skin, it goes really well with my skin and it also makes my teeth look super, super white. This lipstick is also fantastic because it's not too liquidy so you're able to sculpt out your lips and make it perfect and um, it stays on the whole day. It's quite comfortable as well. So I just finished uh, putting on the lipstick and I'm perfecting the edges with what's remaining on my concealer brush just to make everything nice and neat. And I was wondering what do I need now? Um, a wig, yes, yeah, so I went and put on my wig and this is the finished look. It's very simple It's literally like maybe 20 minutes if you want to be a bit more extra with the lashes and I really love it Thanks for watching my video I'm gonna be back with videos every week and I'll see you soon. Bye